Is Bitcoin currently forming a double top fractal to what we saw at the bull market peak in 2021? The bull market EMAs seem to be suggesting something similar might be actually happening, but not only that, we're also seeing the double topping and also even triple topping that we might be seeing here on Bitcoin's price action to produce a potential fractal that we might be seeing play out going forward if things are satisfied. That's what we're going to be talking about in today's episode, so subscribe to the channel and let's dive right into the video. We're seeing many similarities between the double top of 2021 and what we're seeing right now we saw a top here and a top here which was a higher high compared to this high and of course we're seeing a higher high here as well compared to this high and we're currently seeing a recovery which is also potentially mimicking something that we're seeing right over here this was a current or at least a higher low at that time here we're also seeing a subtle higher low form but one of the key things to mention about the bull market EMAs, the blue 50 week EMA and the 21 week EMA here, the green one, that was acting as a resistance when it was lost as a support. And when it was lost as a support, it is also acting as a resistance in this cycle as well. So that's something to really focus on because an old support turns into a new resistance. But what if we actually see a fake out scenario like this in this cycle as well? because that's what the green dot here, the greenish blue dot assumes or suggests that if we do see a breakout, fake out actually, where we'd break beyond the bull market EMAs, reject at this lower high, and then fail to retest them as a support and then drop lower. That's essentially what this fake out scenario would essentially suggest, that we see a fake breakout and then a failed retest. And where price would reject would be this lower high that we've been rejecting from so many weeks in a row, provided we even break beyond these bull market EMAs, which could be quite difficult to do as we've seen in the previous cycle. But of course, at the moment, we're already rejecting from there. But in terms of structure, very similar. A top here, higher high top here, lower high top here. Could we be seeing the same thing happen right over here? And that's exactly what we're talking about. That higher high would probably, that lower high rejection would probably be at a lower price point and probably at this lower high resistance. So if we see this sort of fractal take place, then essentially we'd see rejection from the lower high, a pullback, losing this 26k support, very similar to what we saw here. And then after that, we'd rebound relief rally and then turn this 26k analogous support into a new resistance before dropping further towards the downside. If this fractal is indeed true. For the time being, we are seeing a lot of signs really play into all of this. We're seeing a double topping, higher high, higher low even forming here, which is a little bit less steep than what we saw here in the cycle. We're also seeing the same situation with the bull market EMAs. They are acting as a resistance for the time being. And if they continue to act as a resistance, they will reject price. Even if we see a bit more FOMO here, this is going to be a potential rejection zone. We've also seen FOMO wicks at this point right over here, beyond the lower high resistance in the past few weeks. And this could be the case again, if we even press beyond the bull market EMAs. That's really something to focus on. And this current structure right over here, this is essentially a range that we're seeing. This is essentially a range, and that was essentially a range as well where we were at 69, 65K and around here, 30K once again. And you can notice how this is the same level. Isn't that just fantastic to see? Old generational support right over here turned into a new resistance and we're seeing the same sort of structure develop caused by that same region. This level caused this range to the upside and we're also seeing this same level cause a range to the downside. Amazing how technicals act in that respect. So this is still a range and we're range bound for the time being, but these EMAs are acting as a resistance once again, like we're seeing here. So could we see 
a rejection here. Could we see a rejection first at the EMEs before dropping into 26K? We know that 26K is a massively important level of support right now. Losing that and we'd probably see additional downside and we'd see this as a distribution range, much like we saw back in 2021. A distribution range? Is this a distribution range? Just a smaller one and rejecting from 31K? That's a really interesting question. If we see the same pathway play out, then one of the levels that I'd be watching for, of course, is something I spoke about in a previous video. That's around 23K. That's essentially the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder. It's the inverse head and shoulders that has a neckline that was never really retested. That's the level that we could see price rebound from. And what if we do rebound from there? it could enable a relief rally back into 26K, which could reject price before that neckline is lost. So many people are thinking of this neckline actually holding as a support, but what if actually it doesn't? What if we actually see this neckline produce a relief rally, much like we saw right over here, just to flip 26K back into a resistance, reject price, and then lose this neckline fail this retest, which would really cause a lot of fear and panic and uncertainty in the market as price goes towards the 20k region. And history suggests that a revisit to 20k in late this year, early 2024, is possible. It has happened in an analogous cycle in the past. We've seen those recurring tendencies occur. So really interesting to see if we actually break down maybe into the right shoulder region, maybe the region of the bottom of the left shoulder here, which is also tying in with the bottom of the right shoulder. Could we drop into that 20k region? Really interesting 20k psychological support, but at the same time, this higher low is going to be a factor. Could it align with 20k at some point? So we know that Bitcoin might be forming a fractal. It's really compelling, isn't it? That we might be seeing a fractal to 2021, but we really need to focus on the difference in context here. This was a bull market, euphoric, over-exuberant, high belief in Bitcoin being a new paradigm, being that euphoria, peak FOMO, peak bull market. Whereas here, we're not in a bull market in this phase, in the parabolic later phase, we're in an early stage bull market comparison, very similar to 2019. So potentially, could we see a local top here? Potentially. And that's where this fractal could play out. But the thing about this fractal is that this isn't the end of a bull market. This is only the first pump in what is essentially macro accumulation. Anything below 31K is macro accumulation that will enable Bitcoin to rally and to post halving new all time highs after April 2024. So it's really important to pay attention to this market context and really important to pay attention also to the four year cycle. We're currently in candle three. We're not in a candle one, which is where we tend to see bull market peaks occur. In 2025 is where we'll see the analogous candle one occur. So we're still two years away from that point, potentially. We're in candle three. So if you wanna learn more about the four year cycle, check out this video right over here and I'll speak to you in that one. Speak to you soon.